Oh my goodness, here we are, and I cannot believe that I have a full set of lights. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, hello everyone, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, guten tag, buongiorno, uh, bonjour, whatever, you know, all the language you may be able to manage. Wherever you guys are, if you're waking up, you're going to sleep, if you are just in the middle of the day, thank you so much for following this beautiful series of stories of friends, stories of great human beings, and um, welcome Oscar, primito, bienvenido. And uh, here I am, it's Friday night, 8.43 p.m., and I am still in the office, because of course we're still in the office. Um, primito, saludos, ella también habla español. Hola. And, um, I'm very happy to continue with our series of interviews because it's not only about young, older, black and white, not, it's just pretty much anybody and everybody who has been at some point um, near or around somebody who's an immigrant, somebody who migrated from one point to another point, from one city to another city. And tonight, I'm so happy to have a millennial a millennial, a real millennial here with us. And uh, I'm confused with your name, but I'm going to call you Nicole. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you the story later. <laughs> and uh, Nicole, uh, we were on a training earlier. Uh, my training consisted on me playing the guitar and then getting trained. And um, I actually asked her to be on the show because I like to pick the brains of the new cars and the new people here. Um, so, why don't do we do justice and why don't you tell our audience in Facebook and Instagram, we don't have YouTube today, but it's going to be on YouTube because it's going to be downloaded to YouTube. Why don't you tell the audience right here in the camera a little bit about yourself and please, you only have two minutes, don't go 20 minutes like you always do when you talk. Uh, tell us your name, where were you born and uh, where are you coming from? Okay. My name is Nicole Fierro. I was born and raised in Houston, Texas. My parents are from Mexico City. And as a millennial, I love to like live in the moment. And yeah. Mm. Okay. okay. First of all, parents from Mexico City. So you have two cultures in your house. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, we have somebody from, um, I believe it's from Pakistan. And she was telling us what it's like to have another full range of customs and things and food and manners. And then you bring back to their house the American lifestyle, the English, the technology, the applications, the words, the sayings. How do you think this, having the ability to have two cultures in your house, um, has helped you in school, has helped you with your friends, has helped you in just pretty much living your life? Okay, I think it's a blessing for one to know two languages, because I know whenever you work, you get a job, bilingual people get paid more than just people that speak one language True. and also in school it's good to like make friends with both people that don't know Spanish and then people that do know Spanish because and bring them together like introduce people that don't know like Spanish so whatever okay that's one thing obviously whenever you dominate another language it broadens your opportunity to leave another culture to experience another culture what about uh, how, how have you been able to contribute to your community being bilingual being a you know Mexican heritage mm. Let's see. Hmm. Besides the tacos, besides the, <laughs> besides the Mexican food. <laughs> okay, I know like in church, I bring people that like don't, know, like it's a church and we bring people that know Spanish and English into like our church and it's like a community thing. Okay, so you're able to bring different cultures. Houston is been known for the most diverse city uh, in the United States, in my opinion, maybe <clears throat> around the world, because there's a lot of people from all over the world, and you'll see, because it's coming up from all these um, this countries, we're going to have the interviews. Um, the second question I like to ask you is because you're exposed to technology, mm -hmm. and maybe you don't consume the news like in the, in the regular mediums, like for instance, welcome Sara, Sarita, and I think believes in Italy, if I'm not mistaken, uh, if I'm not, I cannot read the, the, the last name over here. Um, how do you view and how have you learned everything that has been happening in regard to immigration? Because we have a new precedent and we have new laws in, that, is, that are being implemented. And as an 18-year-old, 
fully American born and raised mm -hmm. with a fully American friends then I know you have these friends over here um, you how, first of all I'm eager to know how do you learn all these news did you learn through snapchat did you learn it through maybe Facebook I don't even know you use Facebook or not I learned it through Twitter Twitter is the way to go y'all Oh, Twitter? I'm yeah. surprised you're the first one to... Okay, interesting. I don't use Twitter. But it's really fast, like at the moment. But I believe uh, President Trump is making Twitter more popular. Yeah. <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, you know, he tweets a lot. And that's, look, that's one of the things that I am not pro 100% from anybody because I'm not a fan. But I can tell you that um, as a president of the United States, being able to utilize Twitter as a medium is freaking awesome. So you learn through Twitter. So what's your opinion? On all these new laws and regulations? Uh, it's like uh, on Donald Trump's? Mm, let's say the new, however you want to speak. Okay. On technology, on like how it's evolving, I like it because it's faster. It's like we don't have to wait till 5 o'clock for the news. We can just get it um, whenever it happens. Okay. So what about your view on the new laws and regulations in regard to immigration? Immigration. Yeah. I don't like it. Um, you don't like it? And specifically? The wall issue. So you don't like the fact that he's going to build a wall. Mm -mm. Okay. Anything else you'd like to add? Um, there's a they can there's a lot of alternatives that could happen and should be taken into consideration. Okay. We promise not to become political. We promise not to uh you know make it religious religious or uh, political views over here. Um, you're a student. Yes. You're 18 years old. Mm -hmm. They call me Linus. Uh, welcome Nati, welcome everybody that we couldn't see before. Any comments, any, you know, any emotions, please. We love it when your guys are here. Um, what are you going to school for or what are you going to go to school for once you graduate high school? I'm actually a senior at Cypress Lakes High School and I'm graduating this year and I want to go to U of H and be an architect after and work downtown. Residential architect. Okay, so your passion is construction, uh, design, architectural, so... Oh, Nati Montoya, what, who is an architect here, by the way? Because you know, we got only three people. It's Friday <laughs> night, it's 8.40 p.m., I'm still in the <clears throat> office. I am going to go back to work. They're going to go home because they're hungry. Um, so that's a great thing that you're going to go to school for architecture. It's a beautiful, beautiful, um, you know, career, and art, if you want to call it. Um, so we promised two things, but we're going to do it in Spanish very quickly because my mom gets mad at me. If we're doing it in Spanish, mama like, mijito, <clears throat> yes, but I didn't understand anything you were saying in English. So, before we let you go, this is a story of somebody who ended up, you know, being born here. Have you been, ever been to Mexico? Yeah. How many times? Do you go quite often or not necessarily? Not necessarily. Okay, so, um, by the way, she speaks fluent Spanish, so I'm just, just like, letting you know. Um, what message would you like to leave the audience? Uh, that girl that is 18 years of age or 15 or 20 that it's uh, still living in the same home country that they were born and at some point probably their parents are moving to another country what message can you leave them with? Well, my abuelito always says no dejes <laughs> algo que puede ser hoy para mañana and that's very important, I always do it in my daily life So that means don't leave anything for tomorrow, tomorrow if you if it can get done today that's the Grandpa said don't wait, get it done today so if you think your parents are moving to another country, uh, hey, there's a saying that we don't, we are, we human beings are placing the boundaries. That's my opinion. I'm not gonna become too spiritual right now. Um, so this is the interview for today. I'm so happy to have a millennial. I'm so happy to have somebody who told me the other day, hey, uh, let's do Skype. And she's like, what, Skype? Uh, can we use Snapchat for the video call? <laughs> or Google Hangouts? Um, so very, very happy to have Nicole and Juliet, uh, <laughs> two people in one body right here tonight on a Friday night. And I hope you guys enjoy this short clip of stories of 100 immigrants in anywhere in the world. It doesn't really matter because I've been traveling and there's people that move from one region to another. Uh, welcome Maria Jose Bedoya in Bogota. Thank you so much for uh, sticking with us for a little bit. We are done with the English version. Now we're gonna switch to a two, four, you know, I don't know, four or five minute in Spanish so my mom and my grandma don't get mad at me. Nicole, thank you so much for what, for, you know, sharing your, your, your point of view. Thank you for being a millennial. <laughs> Thanks, <something>? my mom. <laughs>
And uh, guys, thank you so much for, for keeping up with me, for keeping with these stories. Uh, we're gonna make him, you know, it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, I don't wanna become creative. I just wanna share the stories of people that have been impacted or somehow became immigrants in another country. Thank you so much for watching. If you think this had, had any value to you, please share it. Any comments? Thank you so much. And the appreciation. Peace and love. Now we're switching to Spanish. Thank you guys. Bye bye. <coughs>